Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Virginia Tech Show. I'm your host, Kent Reese. Well, Virginia Tech got the victory over Duke, 74 to 67. Now, before I go on up the scores, I'm going to go on thoughts of the, the game. Am I surprised that Virginia Tech defeat Duke? No. Am I surprised that Duke scored 67 against Tech 74? No. I'm not surprised that Duke got 67. You should think. Matthew Horn for that. Him again, 20 points and shooting some threes. Another thing is Duke was shooting poor in the beginning of the first half and they catched up in the beginning of the second half. Duke, by the way, by the way, had some COVID problems. That's why they came in the game five and two. Now they five and now they drop. Now they five and three. Three, they that what happens when you got COVID. You ain't a great team this year because of the COVID problems. But also, Duke was cold at the end of the game. Was shooting the threes. They were eight of twenty nine, twenty six point six. That's twenty seven point six percent from the three. That is not good. That is good. That is very low. But anyway, Virginia Tech have a very good performance. Like Heavy Aluma and Tyrese Rafford. They both go to the pink. They both got rebounds. Tyrese, we play very good defense with him and Beattie. With Kevin Aluma and Beattie. We got a couple of blocks from Kevin Aluma. All together, with Tech got five blocks. Five blocks. But that block that Kevin Aluma and Kevin Aluma save it. Oh, that's a good defense. Anyway, for our scores of the game, we got Justin Mutz. He had a pretty good game in the first half, too, by the way. And he got heavy Justin Mutz. He was 4 of 5 from the field goal, 1 and 1 from the 3, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, and 9 points. P.S. Let's talk in the comments. Do you think Justin Mutz will improve a little better on the three? He seems to do pretty good, better, and pretty good on the three at Virginia Tech. They did at State. As a reminder, he got to his two of seventeen. Excuse me, two of eighteen from t- last two years at Denver State from the three. Naheem Aleem was two of seven from the field goal. One or two from the three. Two rebounds, two assists, and seven points. Vincent Beattie had three assists and two points. Hunter Couture was two of four from the field goal. And one and two from the three. And two rebounds, two assists, and five points. I'm impressed by Hunter Couture. The way he can shoot the three. We'll give him an up and shot. He will shoot the three. You got to be careful. And yes, Jalen Combs. That dude's 5'10", but that dude continuing to bang threes. For all the time he comes to court, he's going to shoot the three, and he will make it. And he does a very good job faking it to get five of a three and getting three shots. Jalen Combs, he was 4'9", from the field goal, 3 of 5 from the three-point range. One rebound, one assist, and 14 points. Jen Collins continue to impress me. That dude's going to be big time threat. The way he shoots the three at 5'10", shoot like he's 6'2". Man, that dude is good. And our star player of the game, he had great performances. That is Tyrese Rafford. Like him and... KV Aluma, like this guy, that dude keep on rebounding him and KV Aluma. Rebounds. Oh, that's the reason why we got 74 points pretty much while we were winning the game in the first place. Tyrese Rafford was 7 of 18 for the field goal. Three assists, 12 rebounds, and 18 points. He is Tyrese Rafford. It's our star. Player of the game. And Virginia Tech all together was shot 
six a fourteen from three that's a forty percent that's a forty two percent that's proven that's pretty good proven twelve and there is twelve and nineteen from the free throw twelve twelve and nineteen sixty three point two percent again what a good performance about Virginia Tech for all these guys, man, especially Tyrese Raffer. I had I didn't have enough of him. Tyrese Raffer, he really impressed me. Defense played well, five blocks. Oh, it was very good. Anyway, that's all I gotta say on the Virginia Tech show. Virginia Tech will play Sunday, January seventeenth, six PM on the ACC network against Wake Forest. Anyway, that's all I got to say. We we'll see you guys next time on the Virginia Tech show. Show and again, please like this video if you enjoy it. Let's talk in the comments. Click the subscribe button. It will really help me out. And again, let's go, Hokies!